You know, my life before Christ, I, I always had a feeling like there was something greater out there. Didn't really know, I didn't grow up going to church. Um, one of my best friends in middle school invited me to start going to church with him in a Presbyterian church. Um, I started going, started getting really interested. Um, really liked what I was learning. Um, but it really didn't click with me until high school, I would say. Um, I started going to, I, I transferred schools in high school. I uh, got in with a really good group of guys that I know God put in my path. And uh, you know, they invited me to church with them. Um, and my sophomore year of high school, I, I had the game-changing moment. You know, I, I just felt Jesus come into my life and, and enter my heart. And I just felt this peace. And I felt something I never felt before. Um, just knowing that I was loved no matter what and knowing that I was always going to be with him. And uh, you know, it's been a, an amazing path thus far and, and it's just every time you sit down and think about things that happen in your life you realize that you know things don't happen just by accident. Second Timothy 2.14 is it's important to me just because it just speaks so much about you know what our walk here on earth is all about you know just enduring um, and, and living in such a way that you come out on the other side um, where you're supposed to be and uh, I just I try to live life every day you know, just knowing that you know, I'm destined for a greater place. Um, I've been saved. I, I want to come out on the other end and, and be able to be in heaven and, and, and enjoy you know, everything that has been set forth for us. The encouragement for the baseball side of it, just I kind of relate it to no matter if it's going good or bad, you stay the course. You know, you know that times may be tough right now, but if you just stay on your path, you stay there, you're going to come out on the other end where you want to be. Um, whether, whether it's continuing on in baseball or not, you know that you've, you've done things with an intent and you have no regrets in the end. Thankfully, I, my mom and dad really instilled me from a young age that character is who you are when nobody's looking. And, um, you know, to me, it's always, I've always wanted to have no regrets whenever I'm done in baseball or, or at the end of my life. I, I want to be able to look back and, and know that you know, I don't have anything to be ashamed of. And um, you know, it's something where I can avoid you know, pine tar stuff. I can avoid uh, performance enhancing drug stuff. I, I know that by living for Jesus, I'm going to be in the right place, in the right frame of mind.